Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Barris Halkis, and today we're gonna talk about how you can film yourself in about a few steps. It's extremely moody as hell here today. It, the weather really pushed me outside to film today. I wanna talk about a few things that will help you when you're filming alone. Number one is focus. Always try to use manual focus. Out of focus always feels unnatural. Manual focus is where it's at, guys. Unless it's a hard shot for you to actually calculate the manual focus, do autofocus, but take that scene longer. Like, let's say you're shooting yourself. Like, I'm in autofocus right now. If I'm shooting a wide angle of myself, I'll probably be in the frame for a little bit. Just, you know, turn around, because I know in that one spot, I'm gonna catch the focus. So I would just use that clip. Only use autofocus for clips like that. Other than that, you wanna use manual focus, 100%. Number two moving shots if I just mounted my camera on a tripod and I just walked around in the forest that probably would not be a lot of fun instead I added some running shots that always gets the scene going so make sure to include moving shots as well as still shots and number three is get creative with shots get outside of the box when I was filming in this shot where I was walking it was kind of a low angle so I just kind of extended my tripod and just kind of held it further from me get creative with the shots and literally think outside the box. I think this is number four right now. You want to have other shots to support yourself. So you don't only want to film yourself doing stuff. Everyone wants to see where you're at. Everyone wants to see what is surrounding you. So make sure to include more shots, like detailed shots. For instance, today's rainy, so I included some leaves with raindrops. Make sure to include other shots as well. Next one on my list is use wide and tight shots. You wanna have those close up tight shots as well as those wide heroic shots. It's more of a situational shot. So I would definitely include tight and wide as well. And the last one on the list, we can always talk about gear, but I wanna talk about using what you have. I was actually gonna include my gimbal and a drone in this. I didn't want a drone in this weather and I didn't really wanna bring my gimbal and set it up and it's just a lot of work. So all I used was my tripod and my camera. That is all you really need, especially if you're in a beautiful forest like this. You don't need more than that. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that I can motivate myself to make more vids.